Welcome to this quick video tutorial on the search function in CodeBeamer. Today we will learn how the search works, how indexing is done and how a simple search can be performed, how the advanced search works including query syntax, searching for artifacts and searching across projects. CodeBeamer provides role-based searching and indexing. The search engine spans all assets including user accounts, trackers and attachments, documents, artifact metadata, forums and attachments, and source code commits. The search scope can be at a single project or multi-project level. Full text search is provided on different data formats including MS Word, RTF, PDF, HTML, Wiki and plain text. CodeBeamer uses the Lysine search engine for searching and indexing. First of all, I'd like to demonstrate how quickly the indexing in CodeBeamer works. To demonstrate this, I will edit a simple text file. I will add a random string that CodeBeamer definitely will not know. I mark the string and copy it to my clipboard so I can search for it later on. Back in CodeBeamer, I will add this file to the document section. To do this, I've just edited. This is my specs file with a new search string. I upload it into CodeBeamer. It will automatically be added to the document section within CodeBeamer and is already indexed. To demonstrate this, I will paste my random search string over here, hit enter, and CodeBeamer immediately finds the file that I just uploaded. You can see indexing is very quick. New documents are immediately indexed upon uploading into CodeBeamer. Same goes for import and creating documents within CodeBeamer. In the advanced search, you can define if you want to search on single artifacts or multiple artifacts, if you want to search across single or multiple projects, and if you want to use the query syntax to narrow down the search results you will be getting. I can demonstrate this real quickly. I just tick the box to allow query syntax and first of all search for the word scrum within all documents that I have access to. When the search is done you can see different types of artifacts wherever the word scrum is found by the search engine. You can switch between different kinds of results, so I can search for user accounts, I can search for issues, documents, forum posts and projects. To show you how the syntax works, I just add another word and search again. CodeBeamer will now search for documents that contain Scrum as well as process, but not in a particular order. To bring them in a particular order, I will have to put them into Kermata. Now CodeBeamer searches for the exact string and you can see that there will be only two results where CodeBeamer has actually found Scrum process and not just, not just Scrum all process. When I want to narrow my search results down, I can deselect some of the artifacts over here. For instance, I want to just search into trackers, projects and documents and not within all projects, but only in a couple. Let's mark these three and click on search again. I edit the search string so we get a result at all. You can see that in, this, in the three projects I've selected and in the three artifacts there are only two search results for Scrum and Process. This concludes the short video tutorial on search. I hope to see you soon again in the next video tutorial. Goodbye.